Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 54 in chapter 21. Chapter 21 is about electric charge and electric field dense. There, we need to determine the electric field dense at a point P, a, a, a distance Z above the uniform plane of charge, right? So it looks like this one. This is a uniform distributed charge plane. And you need to find the electric field at P. This position P is with a distance Z above the center of the plane. So you can see it tell you a hint. Divide the plane into a non-narrow strips of wideness dy and use the result for example 11. And then sum the field due to each wires to get the total field. So this hint gives you almost give you the solution, right? So we come back to the example 11. So in example 11, it tell you you have the unlimited, you have the unlimited wire charged, char, well, unlimited charged wire, and then find the electric field as a distance x above it, right? And then in this example, it tells us the answer is the electric field is only at x direction, just above it, with the value, this one. Now we come back. We can see this is a charged plane. We cut it by the wires. The wires length is L, and this L just turns to infinity. And the widths of this wire, we call it dy, okay? And then for this wire, you can see, you need to determine the electric field dense for this small fraction, this wire. And then the distance from the wire to this location P, we call it x. Is that works for you? Yes. So this x equal to squared y squared plus z squared, agree? In this uh, triangle, this uh, vertical triangle, this is x, this is uh, 90 degree. So this is y squared plus z squared. So we can write it there. So now there is this x is solved. The next one, we need to look at the lambda. Lambda is called the charge density for this wire, right? charge density for this wire. So first one, we need to find the charge on this wire. And we can see the charge density for this plane is a phi sigma. And then the lightness is L, and the wideness is dy. So use L times dy, you get the surface for this wire. Agree? And this is surface times the surface density, surface charge density, you get the charge for this small fraction wire. Agree? Yes. And then how can you find the linear density for the wire? You use the total charge divided by length L, so it is a phi times dy. Right? Yes. Now we input lambda and x inside this function. So we use lambda and x function inputted inside. We get d e equal to this one, right? Yes. Now you can see you get a d e in this one, and this is a positive charge. The electric field will outward radically, will radically outward, so along this direction make an angle theta with a z component. Agree? Yes. And then we can project the de in y component and the z component. For y component, it can be cancelled because you can see at this side we have a wire and the negative y side we have another wire. Do you agree? So it has the next one. So dey can be Cancelled. So we just look at the z component. Okay. So we have dez as de times cosine theta. And this cosine theta 
is just a z over x, z over x, right? Now your input is a de and the cosine theta inside. Simplify it, you get the dez in this function. Agree? Yes. The next one, how can we get the dez? We do the integral with the y, right? It tells you this y is it from this, the length is l, and this l tends to the infinity. So we do the integral with dy from negative infinity to positive infinity and get the answer at zero. Thank you.